Next, we are going to see the trial balance. What is a style balance? Style balance is a statement of uh, uh, which uh, um, which confirms the accuracy of the accounts prepared. Uh, technically and arithmetically, it may be correct, but there may be some errors by the from the human errors. Uh, by entering the numbers in a, instead of writing 3200 may, they may write 3000 only like that there may be errors errors may be in the uh, credit side debit side error instead of entering the credit side entering a debit side and error in entering a, the wrong amount instead of 3100 they may enter 3000 errors in wrong side errors in wrong account errors in wrong amount these are the major three errors we find in uh, preparing the ledger accounts and journal entries so posting in the ledger account may, they, they, uh, errors may commit in the form of a uh, entering in wrong side entering a wrong amount entering a wrong account Okay, how to rectify all these accounts, we will see. First, we will prepare one trial balance. Then, we will go for uh, what are the corrections we will come across, what are the errors we will come across, and how to correct those errors, we will see later on. First, let us see this uh, sum. Uh, illustration trial balance and its errors mr Aravin started his furniture business on january 1st 2015 he had given his capital of 50000 and an old car costing rupees to 20000 he deposited cash into the bank from this 50000 he deposited 30000 in the bank cash purchases from karthik means uh, cash purchases from mr karthik uh, um, Karthik, this is cash purchase, so there will not be any bill number. Cash purchased from um, Karthik stores, 15 chairs of uh, 500 each and 10 tables of uh, rupees 2500 each and cash sales for rupees 8000, paid salaries by check 3500, sold goods to Natraj, bill number, that means here, uh, here cash is mentioned, cash purchased, here nothing is mentioned, so it is understood, it's a credit purchase, sold goods to Natraj, bill number 2008, uh, 6 chairs of 700 rupees each, 2 tables of 3000 each, paid wages rupees 1500, paid check to Karthik stores, rupees 18, 19,800 and discount allowed by him is 200. Actually, total amount will be the 20,000, but uh, uh, discount allowed by him is, um, uh, that means by the uh, supplier is rupees, uh, we have purchased from Karthik only, you know, so supplier allowed has, uh, that means for the company, rupees 200 as a discount. And January 16th, pay rent by check, uh, sorry, by cash is rupees 600, withdrew for personal use, that means drawing account rupees 2000 from the office, that means from the cash account, received check from Natraj for rupees 1, 000, 4100, discount allowed is rupees 100, he, um, Natraj ha, has to pay rupees 4200 in full full amount but he paid only 4100 and discount allowed to him is rupees 100 cash purchases rupees 8000 cash sales rupees 12000 see these are the transactions given and we have to post that in a special books what are the special books let us see the special books this is some uh, he deposit this is a cash uh, he had given his capital and old car costing and he deposited this is a cash journal that means cash book cash book that is we can use the three column cash book three column cash book and next cash purchase this is also in cash book we are going to enter and uh, then uh, cash sales this is also in cash book we are going to enter and paid salaries by check this is also triple column cash book and uh, cash book you have to write cash book here we are going to enter in cash book and sold goods natraj this is a or bill number is given so it's a credit sales so this is a sales day book sales day book we are going to enter this item and uh, and paid wages this is cash book we are going to enter this in the cash book and then comes paid check to karthik paid that means all payment receipt everything will be in the cash book only and then next comes rent paid. This is also cash book. Withdrew for personal use. This is also cash book. 
and receive check from Natraj. This is also from cash book. Cash purchases, cash book, cash sales, also cash book. So all the uh, almost all the items given um, in the cash book we are going to enter. And now let us cash received, capital received, cash in cash, and this is in kind. Car is uh, receiving the capital in the form of kind. Now let us work out the each book, cash book, uh, I mean cash journal, purchase journal, sales journal, and uh, journal proper. Because there is an uh, asset, um, capital is given in the form of any kind, it should be entered in the journal proper. Okay. Now let us uh, find out what are the journals we are going to use. We are going to use here cash journal. That means uh, cash book. Cash book. That is we have to do the three columnar cash book. Three columnar cash book we are going to use. And then we are going to do the purchase day book. If it is a cash purchase, is a credit purchase. Credit purchase. If it is a credit purchase, we are going to use the uh, purchase day book and then sales day book. Sales day book. So we are going to prepare the cash book and purchase day book, sales day book, then a journal proper. Journal proper, why we are preparing the journal proper means any uh, capital received in a form of kind will be entered only in the journal proper. Next a video we are going to work out the cash book, purchase day book, sales day book and journal proper.